What's up everyone, Vu of Envu Films, and I am back with another idiotic video for you to watch. It's been quite a while, but I haven't done a video in quite some time. But I finally got my a7 IV, and you know, don't be confused, I do have an a7S III tilt a half cage on my a7 IV, but this is definitely an a7 IV. As you can see, I'm not BSing you. United States finally got it late, like most Asian people, to parties, but finally got it. And, you know, typically I do like first impressions videos, but you know what? I don't feel like it because the hundreds of other YouTube douchebag tube douchers already did a bunch of videos on the A7IV the day it was announced and a bunch of other Europeans and other unimportant countries already went ahead and got theirs early and did all that already. But I'm here to provide you with trash content and trash content I will provide. And today's content will be me comparing the A7IV with the A7S III. In this particular case, I want to compare sharpness, a completely trash spec because it requires a lot of pixel peeping, which I don't usually do, but hey, I got to make some content to get subscribers, likes, that social media clout with the A7 IV algorithm on this YouTube douchebag space. So let's get to it. Firstly, we all know the A7 IV has that 7K or whatever down scaled 4K compared to the A7S III, pretty much full sensor readout of that 12 megapixels. Maybe, you know, I don't know, it's a 4.2K readout or something. So of course, 4K24 on the Sony A7 IV is slightly sharper than the 4K A7 on the 4K24 on the A7S III, as you can see in this example here. I pixel beat the crap out of it. At first, I was about to just say that they're kind of the same. But after taking you know very long, hard look with my small Asian eyes, I noticed that the A7S III was a little bit less sharp than the A7 IV. But I feel like it's not something that is like really super noticeable unless you zoom in at 400% and stare at my beard, nose hairs, and the bat in the cave coming out of the nose. With that being said, 4K, 24p is definitely sharper on the a7 IV. It is also very, very slightly sharper in 4K60. This is definitely something that is a lot less noticeable because 4K60 is cropped, whatever, and I think it's like a little bit less of a down sample. But if you really, really stare hard at it to the point where, I don't know, you fall over and die, Yes, you will see that maybe, just maybe the 4K60 on the A7 IV crop mode at that like 5.9K readout or whatever downsampled is slightly sharper than the A7S III. Now with regards to 1080, what I found that in all 1080p modes, the A7S III is still better than the A7 IV. Uh, the A7 IV, 1080 is quite muddy. I only tested 60p and 120p because if you're still shooting 24p 1080, like, I don't know, something's wrong with you. Um, you know, get with the times, all right? So one thing I actually figured out, or found, one thing I actually found out that it was quite interesting was that both of these cameras could only do 120p HD in 8-bit, which is very strange because the A7S III does 4K, 120p in 10-bit. In 10 and so the re why it can't do 10-bit HD, which should be less processing, is beyond me. And, you know, I have no idea why that is the case. But that is that. Another thing to keep in mind is that when I did the 4K 60p test, Obviously, the a7 IV is in crop mode, so I actually had to switch lenses. For the a7S III, I used a 35mm GM, which I actually used for the majority of this test, other than the crop test, which I used a 24mm GM to try to keep like you know the same composition, the same look. So keep in mind, I did all these tests at f1.4 on the 35mm GM and the 24mm GM in crop, and you know, you have to consider the fact that there's a lot more in focus 
in the 24 millimeter 4K 60p shot compared to the Sony a7S III with a 35 millimeter f4 full frame shot. So that can also affect sharpness of the, of the image. So that is another thing to consider when pixel peeping 4K 60 on the a7 IV versus the 4K 60 full frame of the a7S III. And in my opinion, both 4K 60s, they're pretty much equal in like sharpness. Um, but one thing the a7S III does better is uh, it could do 120 frames per second, 4K and 10 bit. And to me, that is worth the additional money you have to pay for the a7S III. So at the end of the day, even though the 4K 24P is sharper on the a7 IV, Sony a7S III does have 124K, and this has a lot more rolling shutter in 4K 24 full frame. So in the end, the a7S III is still like the best video camera for all you videographers, film acres, trash, YouTube, D-bag, video creators out there. With that said, I hope this was helpful. I hope this video helped you make a decision with a7 IV, a7S III, if you could even buy it, if it's even available, if, you know, whatever. Is it ever, ever gonna be in stock if you didn't pre-order it? That first millisecond it was available like I did? I don't know. Till next time, guys, lighten up.